Fox and Odin, a brand that I got to taste for the first time about a year ago. Uh, who is Fox and Odin? It's a newer company operating out of Michigan who may look and act like a small brand, but in essence, they are owned by the WinQuest Group, who is owned by the billionaire DeVos family, which makes Fox and Odin a sister brand to the Joseph Magnus line of whiskeys. Now, both source brands are apparently being blended and bottled out of Holland, Michigan's Coppercraft Distillery. And you may be thinking, oh great, more MGP. But I'm telling you, when it comes to this double oaked bourbon that I've seen sitting on the shelf, you're going to want to pay attention. It's back by popular demand. It's What's on the Shelf Wednesday. What's up folks, welcome back to the Master and Drum Whiskey Room. I am Jason C. Like, subscribe, and help do all the things to help grow that channel to 100,000 subscribers by 2024. We're almost at 90, so we're getting close. So I really appreciate the support, everybody. Also, welcome back to What's on the Shelf Wednesday, a series that a lot of people have been asking me to bring back, and I've been shopping lately, I've been kind of seeing what's on the shelf and what I could review. So I picked up a few bottles to uh, bring back to What's on the Shelf Wednesday, including this Fox and Odin. All right, so a bit more about Fox and Odin, if you've never heard from them before. Uh, one, they're sourcing whiskeys from a few places. Aside from the double oaked bourbon, they have an American single malt whiskey sourced from an unnamed distillery right here in Ohio, along with bourbons from Indiana, which means MGP or Ross and Squibb. Now the part that makes this bourbon more interesting is that these bourbons utilize older blends of eight to 15 year old bourbons, which I had no idea. So this is a blend of eight to 15 year old bourbon from two of MGP's classic high rye mash bills, 21% and 36%, given a second maturation in a freshly charred cask for an undisclosed amount of time. Put all that together and the SRP of this one is about a hundred bucks. So I could not wait to share this with you guys. I mean, look at the color of this thing. This thing is really rich, really dense. And I mean, if you, you know, you kind of would think, okay, well, that's the color of a good double oak bourbon. But again, we're also looking at eight to 15 year old uh, bourbons in the blend. So let's go into it here. So this is that old school MGP chocolate covered cherry note, like kind of a cherry cola type vibe that it brings, a little chocolate mixed in. Oh man, it does have a little bit of uh, herbal quality to it. So you, I think you do get some of that, uh, that high ride mash bill influence in here. The chocolate in this is just so in your face. That's, I mean, it's really the prominent note here. Just like a really rich dark chocolate. Kind of gives you like a little bit of a leather quality too. When you, you know, even though I know it's eight to 15 year old here in the blend, I really do feel like you get a little bit of like that aged leather note too that you get sometimes in, uh, in older bourbons. And on top of that, there's definitely some oak here. There, it does not shy away from the oak at all. I think oak besides the chocolate and a little bit of that cherry might be the most prominent. All right, let's dive in, here we go. This is so stupid good. I don't care that it's a hundred bucks. People might be saying, oh, I could get Woodford Reserve Double Oak for 50 or 60. I don't care. This is so much better than Woodford Double Oaked. It's not even close. I mean, on the palate, the oak really hits you in the beginning, but then it really turns into like a dark brown sugar, molasses, chocolatey kind of vibe. It's very thick, it's very rich. I wouldn't say this would be like an everyday pour, but I'm telling you, like as a dessert pour, this thing is this thing is money. There's oak char. I do think you get a hint of a little bit of that marshmallow note. So if you're like, oh, I really like that marshmallow note and some other double O products, I think this has that. A little bit of that gingerbread note with the chocolate cherry. This thing is all over the place. It is so rich and thick and deep and dark, and I love it. Now I had this um, for the first time. I, I went to the Bourbon Junkies uh, Pours in the Park event last year and Fox and Odin was there. And I remember trying a bunch of different whiskeys there. Obviously you're in an event like that, you're trying a lot of different things. But I remember this one standing out and I hadn't seen it since. And then it finally popped up on the shelf here in Ohio, it's just sitting there, no one's paying attention to it. So I grabbed it, I'm like, oh my God, that's the bourbon. And I wanted to see if it if I remembered it tasting as good as it did then, and man, does it ever. I love this, I love this bourbon. So here's the thing about this bourbon though. 
I'll say this, if you don't like oak, then this is probably gonna be one you want to steer clear of because it definitely brings the oak, uh, it definitely brings the oak profile here. There's an earthiness to it, a sweet tobacco type note to it. There's pepperiness from the high rye mash bill. There's like the slightest hint of, uh, of citrus in there too that I normally get from MGP, but it's all masked and coated in this really deep rich like chocolate molasses brown sugar shell almost. Now it's only 99 proof, so it's not gonna kind of blow you away in proof, but it's high enough where I think it gives you a little bit more than some of the other popular ones that are on the market. I think it's, you know, obviously it's a higher proof than Woodford Double Oaked, which I like, but I like this way more. And the thing that Woodford Double Oak doesn't really do is give you an age on that stuff. And I'm willing to bet that that whiskey is pretty young. This being eight to 15 years, I think for $100 versus Woodford charging you about 60 bucks for their Woodford Double Oak, and you don't know what the ages are, I think this brings a lot more flavor, a lot more richness. This is gonna be one of those bourbons that people are gonna sleep on because it's 100 bucks and they don't know what the hell it is. But I'm telling you right now, if you picked up this Fox and Noden Double Oaked, you're gonna be pleased. Yeah, last sip guys. The more you sip this, I think the easier it does get but it's still very chocolatey, very deep, very rich. Um, it's got that chocolate cherry vibe in it, rye spice through and through, again, a little leather, tobacco, and it is oak forward. So if you don't like oak, avoid it. But if you just wanna try something new that's very sweet, you're a fan of double oak products, this is one of those surprising whiskeys that people will walk right by, and I think is absolutely delicious. So welcome back, What's on the Shelf Wednesday. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review for the Fox and Odin Double Oaked here on What's on the Shelf Wednesday. Uh, if you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram. Let me know down in the comments if you have discovered this bottle yet. Are you as crazy about it as I am? I absolutely love this bottle. Also, guys, if you have any suggestions for any other What's on the Shelf Wednesday episodes of bottles that you're seeing just kind of sitting on the shelf that you think are great, please let me know down in the comments. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. Cheers, and I'll see you next time right here on the mash and drum. I love this double O goodness.